It's All Energy by Josie Baker and John Erickson. Read by your favorite teacher ever, Miss Tuxhorn. It's All Energy. Contents. What is energy? Forms of energy. And then it lists the six forms of energy. Electrical energy, motion energy, sound energy, thermal energy, light energy, and chemical energy. Energy converters. Electrical devices, source converters, and other energy converters. Energy sources. Fossil fuels. Wind, sun, water, nuclear fuel, geothermal, and biofuels. Transferring energy. Fuel trucks, electrical wires, gas pipelines, hot air, hot water, and steam, food, sunlight, and collisions. And last, we have the glossary and the index. What is energy? Energy makes things happen. Every time something starts moving, it is because of energy. Every time something makes noise, it is because of energy. Every time something gets warmer, it is because of energy. People use energy when we talk, run, and think. In fact, every time we do anything, we use energy. All of the things happening in these pictures are happening because of energy. Forms of energy. The examples on these pages might look like a lot of different things, but they are really showing just one thing, energy. All these forms of energy can make things move or change. They all can be converted from the form they are in to any of the other forms. They are all energy. Electrical energy powers this hair dryer. Anything that you can plug in uses electrical energy. Motion is a form of energy. An airplane in the sky has motion energy. So does anything else that is moving. Sound is also a form of energy. Every sound you hear is sound energy traveling into your ears. Another form of energy is called thermal energy. The hotter something is, the more thermal energy it has. Light is also a form of energy. The light that you see coming from lamps, the sun, and other sources is light energy. There is chemical energy too. Our bodies use the chemical energy in food. Anything that burns fuel or runs on batteries is also used for chemical energy. Electrical energy. A bolt of lightning comes from electrical energy. The electrical energy of lightning is powerful and hard to control. Still, this is the same kind of energy that powers the electrical devices people use at home. Anything that you can plug in uses electrical energy. Unlike lightning, the electrical energy that people use every day is easy to control. People have invented many ways to generate or produce electrical energy from other energy forms. Electrical energy that is generated in one place can easily be transferred to a place far away through wires. This makes electrical energy one of the most important energy forms in everyday life. Like lightning, electrical energy that people use can be dangerous if it is not used properly. People who investigate electrical energy must take care to do it safely. This lamp uses electrical energy. Lightning is electrical energy. Wires transfer electrical energy. Motion energy. Moving things have energy just because they are moving. The faster something is moving, the more motion energy it has. Moving things that are heavier have more motion energy than moving things that weigh less. Which do you think has more motion energy? A book that is falling off of a table or a truck speeding along the highway? A truck has more motion energy because it is traveling much faster than the book. Another reason the truck has more motion energy is that the truck is heavier than the book. This fast moving truck has motion energy. Sound energy. 
All sounds are a form of energy, no matter what they sound like or how they are made. The bark of a dog, the beep of a car's horn, and the music from a radio are all sound energy. The louder something is, the more sound energy it has. The sound of a car's horn has the more energy than the sound of someone whispering. Still, they are both the same form of energy. A dog's bark is sound energy. Thermal energy. This cup of hot chocolate is warmer than this glass of cold chocolate milk. The, the hot chocolate has more thermal energy than the chocolate milk. When the chocolate milk is put in a hot stove, the milk's temperature rises. This happens because thermal energy is transferred from the stove to the milk. The chocolate milk becomes hot chocolate. When the hot chocolate cools down, it loses thermal energy. Hot chocolate has more thermal energy than cold chocolate milk. Light energy. If too much light from the sun hits your skin, you will get a sunburn. This is because light is a form of energy. A lot of light energy comes from the sun, but it also comes from light bulbs, candles, fireflies, and many other objects. No other energy form can be transferred from place to place as easily as light energy can. Light from the sun travels across 150 million kilometers of empty space before it gets to Earth. There are no pipelines or wires that, contain, that connect the sun to Earth, but the sun makes a lot of different things happen on Earth because of its light energy. For example, sunlight is what gives plants the energy they need to grow. The sun's light energy also keeps, helps keep Earth warm. Sunlight is light energy. Chemical energy. We all get energy from the food we eat. The form of energy that is in food is called chemical energy. Our bodies use this, chemical, this energy to grow and move. Chemical energy makes cars go too. Most cars use chemical energy in gasoline. Other machines like trucks and airplanes use the chemical energy in other materials like diesel, fuel, or jet fuel. Our bodies get chemical energy from the food we eat. A gas line like this one transfers chemical energy into homes and other buildings. All right, we're now moving on to the second section of the book about energy converters. This includes electrical devices, source converters, and other energy converters. Energy converters. An energy converter takes energy in one form and converts it into another form. For example, a car is an energy converter that converts chemical energy from gasoline to motion energy that makes it go. Electrical devices like radios and source converters like solar panels are two types of energy converters, but there are many other types. In fact, Almost anything that does anything at all is converting energy in some way. Electrical devices. Electrical devices are energy converters that we use every day. All electrical devices run on electrical energy. They convert electrical energy into a different form of energy. It, is, it could be light energy, motion energy, sound energy, or thermal energy. There are lots of different kinds of electrical devices. Here are a few examples. Radios and music players. A radio converts electrical energy into sound energy. The part of the radio that does this is called the speaker. Other devices with speakers or headphones, such as music players and telephones, also convert electrical energy into sound energy. Electric lamps. An electric lamp converts electrical energy into light energy. Sometimes, when energy is converted from one form to another, a little bit of it gets converted to a form you don't want. 
some kinds of electric lights get hot. That is because they also convert electrical energy into thermal energy, which is a waste of energy when you just want your lamp to provide light. Other kinds of electric lights, such as LED lights, are more efficient. They convert most of the electrical energy they use into light energy, and they do not get hot. A light, like this one, converts most of the electrical energy it uses into thermal energy, which is less efficient. A light like this one converts most of the electrical energy it uses into light energy, which is more efficient. Electric stoves. An electric stove converts electrical energy into thermal energy. We use th the thermal energy for cooking food. Some other devices that convert electrical energy into thermal energy are heating pads, toasters, and electric heaters. Electric motors. An electric motor converts electrical energy into motion energy. Many devices include clocks, toys, and even some cars have electric motors. Electric fans. A fan has an electric motor, but it also has spinning blades that transfer energy to the air. The fan converts electrical energy to motion energy of the air. Now we're moving on to source converters. We depend on electrical energy to run all of the electrical devices we use every day. Where does the, uh, that electrical energy come from? Engineers have figured out many ways to take different forms of energy from lots of different sources and convert them into electrical energy. To do this, they use source converters. You'll find some examples of source converters on the next few pages. Spinning electric Electric generators. An electric generator takes any form of energy that can make it spin and converts it to electrical energy. The energy a generator converts can come from sources such as wind, water, or fossil fuels. Generators in hydroelectric power plants can be as big as houses. Wow. The generator in a car is about the size of a volleyball. And it is here next to the engine. Wind turbines. A wind turbine converts the motion energy of wind into electrical energy. Moving air collides with the blades of the turbine, forcing them to spin. A generator attached to the turbine converts electricity the energy to electrical energy. The blades of wind turbines can be many shapes. This small wind turbine is used to measure the speed of the wind. The amount of the electrical energy that comes out of it tells how fast the wind is blowing. Solar panels. A solar panel converts light energy into electrical energy. Large solar panels in bright sunlight are used as a household ener electrical energy source, but even small ones can be used for low energy uses like calculators. Calculators often have tiny solar panels on them. It's that little bar right there. Solar thermal power plants. A solar thermal power plant converts light energy from the sun to electrical energy. Like a lot of energy converters, a solar, a solar thermal power plant does this in several steps. First, the light energy is gathered from a wide area and converted to thermal energy, where it is used to make steam. The steam runs a turbine which spins a generator, which converts the energy to electrical energy. Wow, that is a lot of steps. Hydroelectric power plants. In a hydroelectric power plant, a water turbine and an electric generator convert the motion energy of water to electrical energy. 
To convert the energy, moving water is made to collide with the blades of a water turbine. The turbine pushes a generator, and a generator converts the motion energy to electrical energy. This dam is holding back water that will collide with the blades of a large turbine, which will push the electric generator. This is a water turbine inside the hydroelectronic power plant. It's inside the dam down here. Fuel burning power plants. A fuel burning power plant converts the chemical energy of fuel into electrical energy. The fuel is almost always fossil fuel, coal, oil, or natural gas. Fuel burning power plants are complicated systems with many parts. One part is the part where the fuel is burned to run some kind of engine or turbine. Another is the electric generator. In most power plants, the energy from burning fuel makes steam, which collides with the blades of the turbine to make it spin. The turbine makes the generator turn, and the generator converts the energy to electric en electrical energy. This large fuel burning power plant gets its energy from fossil fuels. You can tell by the smokestacks. Most of the electrical energy we use is converted by this kind of power plant. This smaller fuel burning power plant also burns fossil fuels. It has a generator inside, but instead of a steam turbine, it has a diesel engine similar to the engine of a car. Geothermal power plants. A geothermal power plant converts thermal en energy to electrical energy. Like fuel burning power plants and many other power plants, the processes involve using thermal energy to make steam to run a turbine to push a generator to convert the energy to electrical energy. A fuel burning power plant must burn fuel to get the thermal energy but a geothermal power plant uses thermal energy that is already in Earth. This geothermal power plant converts underground thermal energy into electrical energy. Nuclear power plants. A nuclear power plant does not burn fuel, so it does not have chimneys or smokestacks. A nuclear power plant converts the energy stored to the stored in the center of atoms into thermal energy to boil water and make steam. The steam runs a turbine which spins a generator which converts the, elect the energy to electrical energy. Now we're moving on to other energy converters section. Many devices that humans make are energy converters and there are many energy converters in nature. You will find a few examples on the next few pages. Fuel burning engines. An engine that burns fuel converts the chemical energy in that fuel into motion energy. Different kinds of engines use different kinds of fuel, such as gasoline, coal, or jet fuel. Engines are used in cars and many other devices. Some engines are used to transfer energy to electric generators. Fuel burning engines get hot because they are also converting chemical energy to thermal energy. If an engine gets really hot, that means it is less efficient because it is converting more of the chemical energy into thermal energy. Green plants. A green plant is not a human-made device, but it is a very important energy converter. Plants take light energy and convert it to chemical energy. Actually, all living things are energy converters, but green plants play an especially important role in the systems of life on Earth. They capture the energy of sunlight and convert it to a form that other living things can use. The chemical energy you get from food is energy that was converted from sunlight by a green plant. Also, the energy in fossil fuels and biofuels come from energy that was once captured by green plants. 
Green plants come in all sizes, but they are all capture and convert the energy of sunlight. Candles. A candle converts the chemical energy of wax into thermal energy and light energy. Many people use candles for special occasions, but they are also useful when there is a blackout. Furnaces. A furnace is a type of heater. Furnaces convert chemical energy from fuel into thermal energy. There are many different kinds of furnaces. Some furnaces are used to heat buildings, and some are used for things like melting metal. Different furnaces use different kinds of fuel, such as coal, oil, or gas. Other things that convert chemical energy into thermal energy are gas stoves, heat packs, and many kinds of animals, including people. This section of the book is about energy sources. This includes fossil fuels, wind, sun, water, nuclear fuel, geothermal, and biofuels. Energy sources. Energy has to come from somewhere. This section lists energy sources that are found in nature before humans do anything to convert or transfer the energy. However, the energy from these sources still came from somewhere. The energy from any source can be traced back to another source. Humans have many choices about where their energy comes from. Each energy source comes with trade-offs. For example, some are cheaper but less renewable, and some are more efficient but more expensive. Here are some of the things people consider when deciding what to use as an energy source. Renewability. An energy source is called renewable if nature will always provide more of it, even after you have used what nature has already provided. For instance, sunlight is renewable because after you use sunlight, the sun still shines and gives you more. Reliability. Some energy sources are available at any time, whether you, whenever you need them. These sources are more reliable. Some energy sources are available only some of the time, and the time when they are available may not be the time when you want them. These sources are less reliable. Cost. The cost in money of an energy source is a combination of a few different things. The energy itself may be free or may have some cost depending on how much there is and how hard it is to get. No matter what the energy costs, the converter that makes it into a useful form also has a cost that should be considered. For each energy source, this section lists whether the source is ex less expensive with one dollar sign, more expensive, two dollar signs, or most expensive, three dollar signs, compared to other energy sources. Prices change as the technology and availability of the resources change, so these costs are just estimates. Environmental impact. Money is just one way that energy can be costly. Getting and using energy make changes in the environment. That is another kind of cost. Energy use can affect human health and the health of other living systems. Energy use can change the environment where the energy source is found, where the energy is used, and along the route where energy is transferred. Evidence shows that energy use can affect the climate of the entire planet. Some sources of energy have bigger impact on the environment than others. So that's a lot of information, but we need to know that energy, some energy is renewable, some is reliable, some is cost efficient, and some is very expensive, not cost efficient, and that energy affect, taking energy out of the environment can have an environmental effect depending on the person or the corporation 
or government, some of these are important to them and some are sometimes not. Some of these may be important to you and maybe not to the person sitting next to you and vice versa. Fossil fuels. Oil, coal, and gas are mined or pumped from the ground. These materials are rich in chemical energy. Humans can burn these materials to get energy from them. Humans also make other fuels, such as gasoline, from these materials. And thermal energy from burning fuel can be used to heat buildings. It can also be used to make cars go and to make electric generators spin to produce electrical energy. These fuels have been the major source of energy for humans for over a hundred years. People pump oil out of the ground. People dig up coal in mines like this one. So this is the coal mine and this is what coal looks like when it comes out of the ground. About fossil fuels, their renewability. Fossil fuels are not renewable. They are formed underground over millions of years. In order to keep a steady supply of fuels, people have to keep looking for new places to find them and new ways to get them out of the ground. Reliability. Fuel is one of the most reliable sources of energy. You can burn it when you need it and save it when you don't. So far, People have not run short of fossil fuels, but they have become harder to get. And since they are not renewable, they could eventually run out. Cost. Fossil fuels, one dollar sign, are less expensive than many other kinds of energy sources. Energy produced from fossil fuel has always been a good value for the money compared to other sources. Cost depends partly on how much is done to reduce po pollution from burning the fossil fuel. Making it cleaner makes it cost more. Environmental impact. Mining and pumping fossil fuels from the ground damages natural habitats. Spills and leaks of fossil fuels during pumping or transportation has caused damage to natural habitats. When fossil fuels are burned, some of the material goes into the air as pollution. There are ways to capture some of the pollution, but they are expensive. Burning large amounts of fossil fuel is changing the atmosphere. Evidence shows that these changes are affecting Earth's climate, making it warmer and also contributing to heat waves, cold spells, droughts, and severe weather events. Our next energy source is wind. Wind is moving air, and anything that is moving has energy. A wind turbine, often called a windmill, can capture the energy in wind and use it to generate electrical energy. A single wind turbine cannot capture and convert as much energy as a large power plant. So people often build wind farms with many turbines in windy places. Renewability. Wind energy is renewable. When you use it, there is still more. Reliability. Wind is less reliable than most other sources of energy because the weather is not windy all of the time in any one place. Any system that includes wind energy must include other energy sources in order to be reliable. Offshore wind farms are in oceans or large lakes, miles away from land. Offshore wind farms have windier weather more often than wind farms on land, but even offshore farms still do not generate energy all of the time. Cost. Wind farms on land are less expensive Offshore wind farms are most expensive. Wind farms on land are less expensive than offshore wind farms because it is easier to build a wind farm on land than in the ocean. Environmental impact. The whirring blades on a wind turbine 
are a danger to birds and bats. Scientists are studying ways to help animals avoid them. People who live near large wind turbines have had problems with the noise they make. The offshore wind turbines can cause noise pollution harmful to ocean animals. The next energy source is the sun. The sun's light is very bright and brings lots of energy to Earth. People use the energy in sunlight in many ways. We use sunlight simply for light so we can see. But we also use thermal energy, chemical energy, and electrical energy that all come from energy in sunlight. To convert solar energy to electrical energy, we use solar panels and solar thermal power plants. Renewability. Sunlight is ren a renewable energy source. The sun will continue to put out sunlight for billions of years, no matter how we use its energy. Reliability. Solar panels do not work all of the time. For example, they cannot be used at night when the solar energy is not available, and they are not reliable on cloudy days. In order to be reliable, a system must include other sources besides solar energy. Cost. Solar panels are more expensive. Solar thermal power plants are the most expensive. Solar thermal power plants are more expensive than solar panels. Overall, the cost of using the sun's energy is higher than some other energy sources. Environmental impact. Solar panels, factories that make solar panels have to use dangerous chemicals. However, once a solar panel is made, it lasts a long time and makes no pollution while it is being used. Solar thermal power plants. These power plants take up a lot of land. Usually, the land is in the desert, which is a habitat for wildlife. Our next source of energy is water. You can't get energy from water by burning it like fuel. You get the energy from water when it collides with the blades of a turbine that turns an electric generator. A hydroelectric power plant can convert energy from a river into electrical energy. Renewability. Hydroelectric energy is renewable as long as the water used to run the power plant is replaced by more rain or melted snow. Reliability. The amount of available energy from water does not change much from hour to hour. In that way, it is reliable. Over longer periods of time, however, there can be shortages of hydroelectric power. Droughts and dry seasons can limit the amount of available energy. Cost. Hydroelectric power plants are less expensive. Hydroelectric energy is relatively inexpensive as an energy source and accounts for most of the electricity generated by renewable sources. Environmental impact. Hydroelectric energy does not affect the atmosphere or make pollution. It still affects the environment, mainly because of, of dams and rivers. Above the dam, a valley that was once dry land becomes the bottom of a lake. Downstream, the flow of water is affected by the dam. Unless the dam has fish ladders, fish cannot swim past the dam. The next energy source is nuclear fuel. Atoms are very small pieces that all materials are made of. Some atoms store energy that can be released when, part, when the part in the middle, called the nucleus, is broken apart. This is called nuclear energy. The electric generators in nuclear power plants are run by the thermal energy that comes from nuclear energy. Nuclear power plants can pr produce large amounts of electrical energy every day. The nucleus of each atom in this lump of uranium is a source of energy. Renewability. Nuclear fuel is not renewable. The fuel for most nuclear power plants is a material called uranium, which is mined from the ground. 
Reliability. Nuclear po power plants are generally very reliable. They are about as reliable as fossil fuel power plants. Cost. Nuclear power plants are more expensive. Nuclear fuels are more expensive than some other sources and less expensive than others. Environmental impact. Nuclear power plants do not make ordinary pollution the way fuel burning power plants do. However, they do make waste material that is dangerous and must be stored properly. Occasionally, there have been accidents that have caused some of the dangerous material from nuclear power plants to leak into the environment. Nuclear power plants do not make the kind of pollution that causes changes in the atmosphere that are linked to climate change. The next energy source is geothermal. Inside Earth, there is a lot of thermal energy. This is called geothermal energy. In most places, this energy is too deep in the ground to use, but in some places, this energy comes right to the surface. A volcano has a lot of geothermal energy, but it is usually too dangerous for humans to use, and energy comes and goes too quickly. However, some places on Earth have enough geothermal energy all the time that people can use it to generate electrical energy. Renewability. Geothermal energy is renewable. Reliability. Geothermal energy is reliable in places where it can be used. However, it can only be used in a few places in the world. Cost. Geothermal power plants are less expensive. Geothermal energy is an inexpensive energy source in the places where it is available. Environmental impact. Geothermal power plants can bring some polluting materials from deep underground into the air. It is usually much less pollution than a fuel burning power plant produces. And then in the sign this picture says danger. Geothermal area do not go beyond this point. The last energy source that we're going to study today is biofuels. Biofuels are fuels made from living things, mostly plants. Firewood, vegetable oil, whale oil, and even buffalo dung are biofuels that have been used since ancient times. People burned these biofuels to get energy for lighting, heating, and cooking. There are also modern biofuels such as gasoline made from corn and other plants. Biofuel can be made from vegetable oil after it has been used for frying food in restaurants. Gas from rotting plants in the garbage dump dumps can be collected and used as biofuel. People often use corn to make one kind of biofuel. Renewability. Most biofuels are renewable. They are made from crops or waste materials that can be replaced after being used. Reliability. Biofuels are reliable. When you have made them or collected them, you can burn them when you need them or save them for later. Cost. Biofuel, more expensive. Biofuels are more expensive than some other energy sources and less expensive than others. Environmental impact. When these fuels are burned, they still produce pollution that goes into the air. Growing crops for biofuels uses land, water, fossil fuels, and chemicals in the same way that growing crops for food does. This next section of the book is about transferring energy. This includes fuel trucks, electrical wires, gas pipelines, hot air, hot water, and steam, food, sunlight, and collisions. Transferring energy. Energy can be transferred from one object to another or from one place to another in many ways. When it is transferred, energy stays in the same form until it is converted to a new form by an energy converter. 
Here are a few ways that energy can be transferred. Fuel trucks. Many homes and other buildings have fuel delivered by truck. Whenever fuel is carried by truck, train, or boat, energy is being transferred from one place to another. Electrical wires. A lot of energy that people use is transferred electrically. Wires can easily transfer electrical energy from the place where it is generated to another place where people want to use it. We call the wires that transfer electrical energy between many sources and many users the electrical grid. Gas pipelines. Many homes and other businesses use the chemical energy in gas for heating, cooking, and hot water. If the building is in a city, then the building is probably connected to a system of gas pipelines. Large pipelines transfer the energy in gas over long distances, and smaller pipelines transfer the energy in gas to buildings where people live. So on this page, we have the electrical grid, and the electrical grid brings electricity to our outlets in our homes, businesses, and schools. These large pipelines go for many miles and carry gas. At our homes, there's a meter like this where the gas comes into our house. Hot air, hot water, and steam. Many buildings have furnaces to keep them warm in, the, in cold weather. There is always a system that transfers the thermal energy from the furnace to other parts of the building. Thermal energy is transferred to different places by pipes or ducts that carry hot water and hot steam. So in this picture we have a type of heater and these inside these metal pieces are filled with hot water that heats up and create and um, releases thermal energy into the room. The next way that we can transfer energy is through food. Energy is transferred to people through food. A crop like lettuce is grown in one place where it converts light energy from the sun to chemical energy. Then the food is carried in many ways such as in boats, trains, trucks, cars, and shopping bags until the energy gets transferred to the person who eats it. Any way that food can be moved is a way that energy can be transferred. Sunlight. The sun is 150 million kilometers away. There are no pipelines or wires that connect the sun to earth. No trucks or trains or spaceships carry fuel from the sun to earth. And yet, so much of Earth's energy comes from the sun. In the sun, nuclear energy is converted to light energy. Sunlight shines out in all directions, and some gets transferred to Earth, where it is converted to other forms of energy. The sun is very, very far away from Earth, but we still get rays of sunlight here on Earth as energy. The last form of a way that energy can be transferred is through collisions. Energy is transferred whenever one object bumps into another. This is called collision. The motion energy of the colliding objects can be transferred in many ways. When a soccer player kicks a ball, some of the motion energy in the player's foot is transferred to the ball, which flies into the air. When a wrecking ball hits a building, some of the motion energy of the wrecking ball is transferred to the wall, which breaks apart. In many collisions, some of the energy converted to sound energy. Clap your hands. We can hear the collision of our hands can make sound energy too. On page 46, we have the glossary. Anytime there's a bold word in the book, you can look it up in the glossary and it will tell you the meaning of the word. On page 47 and 48, we have the index. 
the index allows us to look up any topic and it will tell us exactly what page that it is on. So if I wanted to look up about motion energy, I could look at page nine. If I wanted to look up about turbines, I could look at page 18 or page 20. I hope this resource was helpful to you.